Hi, thanks for watching. We can see that we've got the biblical worldview jigsaw puzzle here. We have the corner pieces, God, creation, man, the fall. We have the side pieces of God's will, prophecies, miracles, and the Messiah. And we have the New Testament part where Jesus is the personification of the New Testament. So he shows up in the middle. He is the main feature of God's revealed plan for humanity. And so he connects with all of these elements of the puzzle. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this now. We want to look at how atheism or secularism or materialism stacks up in the puzzle that they would have and what pieces that they offer. And we want to see which puzzle is, gives us the clear picture. Well, we start off with the corner pieces. Well, atheists don't believe in God, so that piece, piece has to go right there. That one disappears. They certainly uh, believe in creation. They do believe in mankind. But they don't believe in a literal fall because they usually believe in evolution, things like that, and things are evolving, things are actually getting better instead of getting worse. And so that piece disappears from the puzzle. We look at the side pieces. Well, if there's no God, there's no God's will, so this one disappears. Um, certainly, uh, prophecies, there's no one there to give a prophecy, so this thing disappears. There is no one there to do miracles because there's no supernatural power to go beyond the forces of nature, and certainly there is no Messiah because there's no sin for a Messiah to come and take care of. And lastly, Jesus, if he existed, was a, simply a human being like you and I, but he was certainly not the star or the centerpiece of anything, and so in essence, the atheist puzzle has only two pieces left to it. And you can see that uh, it wouldn't take any time to construct this puzzle, number one, but number two, when you were done and you invited a friend over say, how do you like my puzzle? They would say, what puzzle? I see two pieces. And this is, this is basically what atheism offers us. There's nothing really credible to put your faith in because what they have done is they have reduced the puzzle simply down to two pieces. And visually, I think that's pretty profound. And I hope that helps your understanding of what is wrong with atheism. Thanks for watching.